recently joined us. I, I think I was just told that we have some members of the media here with us now. Uh, so we just want to welcome them and uh, let them know that we just sent a whole bunch of calls to our federal delegates about the importance of immigrant rights. Um, and um, I was going to give you some reminders about uh, the importance of safety on our walk, but I'm pretty sure all those instructions are still fresh in your mind from earlier, so we don't need to do that. So I think before we move on to the State House, we're just going to end with a prayer uh, from uh, Reverend uh, Al here. Praise God. Um, in this moment where we are marching under the banner of solidarity, would you turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor to maybe extend a hand or stand close so you might be able to physically represent the solidarity that we're trying to represent spiritually. I'm gonna pray in the Christian tradition, which is not the only faith tradition in the world. Um, and so as I pray, I encourage you to pray in your tradition. And if it's not in your tradition to pray, then stand in solidarity, my dear brothers and sisters, with those whose tradition calls for it. Gracious God in heaven, we ask in this moment for the grace and the power and the energy to represent your deep love for humanity as we walk across your land, as we profess our faith in you, as our, and as we profess our love for one another. Lord, you have called us to be your eyes. And so Lord, let us see along this journey those things which are hard to see. Let us keep our eyes open and witness those hardships that our dear brothers and sisters are experiencing. Let us have our eyes open so that we might see the love that certainly will be shared with us along the way. Lord, we've come because you've asked us to be your hands. And Lord, we ask that you put our hands to work, not just calling our elected officials, but also going into the voting booth uh, now and in the future and signing in with our hands our deep moral and spiritual values that guide us. Lord, we ask that you allow us to be your feet on this walk, that we not get tired, Lord. And if we do get tired, Lord, that we not falter. And if we do falter and struggle, Lord, that there'll be someone there to pick us up. And Lord, so then embolden us as we walk, strengthen us and provide for us, Lord, that which we need, because we know that you have in your imagination, Lord, a beloved land, a beloved community, where we stand in solidarity with one another. And so we ask for that love and that solidarity now and as we move forward across the countryside. Stay with us, God. And along the way, Lord, let us soften the hearts of those who might be looking, soften the hearts of those that we might meet, soften even the heart of Pharaoh, whose oppressive laws and oppressive systems have cast so many of our dear brothers and sisters into a state of anxiety and trauma that made their very existence in peril. Lord, we ask this and many other prayers that we'll certainly utter along the way in the name of love, in the name of justice. This we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.